So today we are going to be comparing two different amp integrated amplifiers mm -hmm. under one thousand dollars. It's actually pretty in interesting because we have the Iota VX, which is the SA3 and the PA3. And it's like a combination that's actually been very well reviewed, but we haven't really reviewed it on our channel. Uh, so, you know, how does it compare to something that's been get getting really good reviews like the Rotel A11 that I personally reviewed for Soundstage, you know, not too far back. So let's compare. Both of them, I think, is about $900. Roughly what conversion Roughly, is. yeah, so US dollars. So uh, let's compare them, see how it fares and let's get straight to it. So I know it's a bit of a mess right now, but trust me, I don't like a lot of cables myself, but the way we have this set up is, this is the IOTA VX SA3, and then we have the power amplifier under it, and we're actually running each of these as monoblocks. So the top one is doing the right channel, and then the bottom one is doing the left channel, which essentially doubles the power from 50 watts to 100 watts into eight ohms for each channel. Right under that, we have the Rotel, which what we're gonna be AB comparing to, to this IOTA VX combination. So essentially how we're gonna do this is by swapping the RCA cables, the signal uh, between the IOTA VX and the Rotel, and then the speaker cable from one to each other. So can we appreciate the speakers for a minute? So this is a sub $1,000 speaker from ELAC and I absolutely love it. I've been listening to it for the past three days. So it's not been so you know long, but I think this was a perfect match because what I noticed with the speaker is that it works phenomenally well with budget gear. It's just tuned that way. It's not finicky whatsoever, at least in my opinion, in the past three days, that, that may change. But so far, it's been just fantastic with budget gear. So, and, and so many speakers. I um, unboxed so many speakers, but this speaker, the finish, even Tujin, when he walked in, he was like, dude, the finish is like phenomenal, right? You, you love the finish, right? I, I love the finish. And I think with those solid steel stands, yeah. it's, it's like a key piece. I, it does not look like a $1,000 speaker. It doesn't. The veneer on this, like, destroys a lot of the speakers out there in terms of just the finish and, and the front baffle right yeah it's slightly curved there's a little curvature going on at the yeah. front and this this rim here it looks beautiful i love this unifying series it, it doesn't look like on. a it doesn't look like a sub one thousand dollar speaker to be yeah honest. so we're gonna test the speaker because i know you guys are um familiar with some of the elac speakers in the past um so we're gonna test it out and use these speakers specifically to ab it for the most part and we will change speakers here and there, uh, you know, depending on what we can bring down here. But for the most part, this review is going to be, or well, comparison is going to be with these speakers. I'm in heaven. No, seriously, if I started with these speakers and this setup when I got into the hobby, I would be retired. <laughs> the moment I sat in this seat and we started playing music, yeah, my jaw dropped.
Yo, the, did you see the base driver? No, <laughs> Dude, yeah. yeah, it was moving. It, Dude, it, that that was some serious excursion. It's serious dynamics. Jesus. And it didn't chuff. No, I'm surprised. It's like for such a low price, you can get so much good sound out of these. Just with this combination right now going, it's kind of like mind-boggling. Well, I want to hear the towers. Oh yeah, I, after hearing this, I want to hear the towers. And but then, like the fact that this you know budget gear like we didn't have this back you know a few years when ago when we started in the hobby the options were limited i mean for 900 dollars integrated yeah that is unbelievable sound like incredible incredible dynamics i'm kind of baffled i mean the bass is really hard hitting yeah the the ro low rumble is phenomenal and that speaks to the speaker as well but also the mm -hmm. combination mm -hmm. like both actually grunts really hard on the, in the bass region mm -hmm. but like i think the i want vx does have more grunt mm -hmm. but will tell has a little bit more sparkle and less you know, a little bit less grunt so i, mean, I don't know if, like both are really really good Okay, so your impressions, Tujin, what did you think? Um, so comparing the IOTA to the Rotel, I found that the IOTA is easier to listen to, a bit smoother, but the Rotel gave more of a, um, what's it called? A more exciting presentation. Like slightly more brighter? Yeah, slightly more brighter. Um, and it, it's, it's very slight. So which one did you like prefer? I, I think it's the IOTA because with that, I can you know raise the volume a bit louder and you know kind of fill the room a bit better without any kind of fatigue yeah i you know i kind of agree actually well i i completely agree that the rotel is slightly more you know there's treble. excitement there. yeah there's there's a little bit more excitement on the on the but it's such a small difference i think yeah. that depending on the speaker for example i think we paired it up with the bmw 606 s2 speakers mm -hmm. and on a speaker like that the out of vx is way better of yeah. a choice because it's already you know tilted up into high frequency by the way what did you think of that pairing by the way 606 you know what it i'm i'm sensitive to bright speakers yep and that speaker was no brighter than like kefl's 50s like i could listen to it and just not at very high high levels but yeah. you know at a normal listening level of maybe like 85 db peaks i'm good with that's that. that's pretty loud but anyways that that's peaks just but saying. but did i influence you anyway not at all. I got very scared because they had a heavy toe in. Yeah. And I just set them up exactly where I placed all my speakers. I and then I just told him to listen and decided for decide for yourself. I, I thought the IOTA and the the Bowers and Welkins was yeah. actually pretty good as a pairing and I think I could get used to the sound. Yeah, surprisingly actually the IOTA VX I would recommend it as a you know affordable choice with the BMW S2. If you're in for that like micro detail and like detailed sound, it actually works out very well. And it's not all that fatiguing, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I agree though. Iota VX has a little bit more headroom and I do think the bass hits harder and it has a little bit more warmth, but also the high frequency is slightly more grainy than the Rotel in my opinion. So mm -hmm. if you're someone that is really sensitive to like grain and you want like clean sound that's more detailed, resolute, then I think the Rotel A11 is a better choice. But if you want something that has a little bit more power, a little bit more headroom, a little bit more dynamic uh, sound, then I think the uh, the Iota VX combo is the way to go. And if you have a speaker where you're totally happy with the treble response and yeah, you do not I mean, want any more excitement than what you're getting. Yeah, and I think this, you know, we did it with a speaker that is not really sensitive to pairings all that much, mm -hmm. uh, rather forgiving to a lot of pairings, which you know, ELAC is great for that. But you know, with other pairings, I think it will be a bit more obvious of a difference. Um, I mean, with the 606S2, like again, going back to that speaker, it's going to be a lot more obvious on that speaker than it is in the, on the ELAC. So yeah, 100%, I think, you know, both service purpose in terms of taste. It's like, you know, not totally different, but just different enough that one person will definitely prefer one over the other. And the exciting part about the IOTA is, let's say you don't have to buy the PA3, the power yeah. amp. You can start with the SA3 and then if you want that more power, 
well, you got that option. Yeah, but I think if you're getting the Iota VX, personally speaking, I would get the combination just because yeah. you're getting way more headroom and power. It puts it in a different league. Exactly. It just, just it just puts it in a different league um, when you have a combination going. And so, despite you know having those two like you know components, yeah, it's not that big footprint wise. Oh no, the footprint's not that big whatsoever. Actually, when he brought it in, I was just like, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it looked a lot bigger in picture. Um, but yeah, no, it's slim design, really well thought out, and I was quite impressed with this combination specifically speaking because you know out of VX, like I said, with different pairings, it can get more grainy. And you know, it really depends on the speaker, but with a forgiving speaker, even with the Kef LS50 and so on, it will be a phenomenal pairing because it has that power, it has that dynamic capability. So, for someone on a budget that wants good sound, I think this is it. And I think the ELAC and the IOTA is a phenomenal pairing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like under 2000, absolutely, those two. Together. I mean, even the Rotel A11, I was yeah. really impressed with you know just how good it sounded with the with the um, you know. With the, with the elax but i think the new elax just ugh, the review for that will be coming but <laughs> absolutely in love with it and you know we play around with gear that is like really you know like <laughs> yeah like like i'm like you know we get stuff here in here like all different price ranges but like this pairing today we actually enjoyed it fully like mm -hmm. we didn't feel like we needed to listen to anything else today we just fully enjoyed it we were immersed in it and we were we were listening to music while we were shooting like, yeah we were like jamming out so yeah. we had a great time so yeah for anyone of you that wants to try the iota vx i definitely urge you to have a listen i think the pricing is more than fair i think it's a steal mm. at this yeah, point it's worldwide shipping i believe yeah i think the steal it's a definite steal and it's not even a good deal it's a steal <laughs> And I was skeptical when you know other reviewers talked about it. You know, I think Sean from Zero Fidelity talked about yeah. it too. And they were like, "This it's thing made is rounds. yeah." They're like, "This is this thing is great." And I was like skeptical, and I kind of missed my turn to review it, I guess. But like we we came around and we were like, "Ah, oh, you know, Tujin wanted to actually review it, yeah. so it's props to him for yeah. bringing it in." And then you know we actually listened to it, and you know you know by chance, Elac just I just thought it would be a good pairing from you know just experience, and it certainly was like just absolutely. Blown Fill away. the room like with no effort. Yeah, I would have VX would be my choice um, because the Rotel is great, but it's just personal taste kind of thing. I, I just got like more power and dynamics and a little bit more warmer sound. So yeah, um, uh, and sound staging is about the same. Imaging will tell slightly better because of that pinpoint, you know, kind of sparkliness. Yeah, uh, you agree with that? I, I agree, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up. It does help us a lot when you give us a thumbs up and it doesn't cost you anything. And also consider joining our Patreon um, if you feel like it and if you feel like supporting us. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Put a comment down below with what you would choose, the Rotel or the IOTA VX combo and what speaker you're using right now. Yeah, and my arm is dying from holding this camera, so we're gonna go. Thanks guys.